Hello YouTube, Reseller Mom here. Welcome to today's video. Today I'm gonna talk about my new toy. It is a an air pillow machine by Vever, V-E-V-O-R, and just void fill in general and some numbers to go along with the void fill and where I started and where I'm at with that and the decisions that I made along the way. So thank you for joining me. Today is Wednesday the 19th. My staff is out sick. We've got some bugs going around. Here, uh, there are several people sick at my daughter's school too, so I'm really hoping I don't get sick. It's like, tis the season, right? So my new toy is this air pillow machine and it is warming up. It is super simple. It was pretty inexpensive and uh, I so far am absolutely loving it. It's got an on button in the back. You turn it on. We gotta wait for this to heat up. And then it's got two buttons. It's got an air button and a, and a start stop button. So you turn it on to start wheeling it through and then you turn on the air so that you can either get a big bubble, a little bubble, you know, how, how uh, poofed up you want your pillows to be. And this is what it turns out to be. So pretty snazzy, I'm really liking it. I'll show you how it works here as soon as the, as soon as the start button stops blinking green, that means we can start it. But it is a little loud, so we're gonna talk about the other stuff first. When I first started my Amazon adventure, I started with this, uh, I believe you call them recycled newspaper, packing paper, moving paper, typically comes in sheets that are around 15 inches by 15 inches, maybe 20 by 20. You order pounds of it so you get like a 20 pound thing. And it's awesome, it's great. I love having this stuff around, it has a lot of good uses. You can definitely pack a lot of different things in this. You can use it as void fill, uh, you can wrap, items in there for breakage. It's got a lot of good usage, usage, uses. There we go. The downside is, is it comes in a big flat. So you need to have like a spot to keep it. I have seen some people, you know, just have a shelf dedicated towards it or take a bar of some sort, you know, like if you want to mount a bar here, um, some sort of kind of like a, like a towel bar and, or I have one of those clothing racks and just drape it over, you could do that too. Those are kind of the best two creative ways that I've seen people store this type of paper. And it was great. I'd order, you know, a big big thing of it. It'd come, I'd use it, and then uh, it got to the point where I was using a lot of it and it became not super cost efficient. And that's when I moved up to the big craft rolls. Now these guys are 24 inches long they're super heavy. They're like 20 pounds plus. And this guy was 1,200 feet in length, so 24 by 1,200. It results in 14,400 inches total. And this went on a clothing rack and we would just you know, tear off as needed and pack up our FBA boxes. This was great, but the downsides of this is one, it's really heavy. I have dropped this on my toe before. Ooh, we are ready. I have dropped this on my toe before and it hurts. It is hard to lug in and out. A lot of times they just kind of chuck it at the door and we've had it, um, yeah, it's just heavy and big and awkward. These guys, you can get a mount for your wall. And I looked at that, but they're like 200 bucks. There was nowhere in my house that I was really comfortable putting a $200 permanent structure dedicated for paper. And same with the office here. I'm in, in a warehouse and I'm fine to drill into that wall. No, I can't drill into that wall, it's concrete. Uh, and mount something as long as I fill up the holes when I leave. But I just never found a spot that I was like, this would be awesome for a giant roll of paper because we're constantly, you know, we're kind of rotating and moving things here. I like to keep things fluid because uh, like we're going into Q4, I'm gonna start doing FBM and I wanna be able to move things around to accommodate how my business changes. All right, so these guys, have been great. I've been using these for several years and I went to go order another one of these and the price has gone up. It used to be about $56 and now it's $73. And I was like, my goodness, let me reinvestigate this guy. And these guys used to be $400 plus when I was researching them. And now this one was 175. So I was like, 175, $30 for a roll of bubbles. Now I'm really interested because that's less than 200 bucks. These guys I'm going through between one month and six, four to six weeks. So that's the same amount of money I'd spend 
for about two months on this guy. Oops, chimney. There we go. Okay, let me go ahead and turn it on. So we just turn on that button and it starts going through. And then we've got to turn on the air, the fan, the air, whatever you want to call it. And boom, we've got air bubbles. Yeah, that's about as exciting as it gets. And my life is pretty boring, but that's really exciting, right? All right. Let's go ahead and do that, do that. So we're just gonna turn it off while we talk here. Uh, you know, really, really easy. I mean, anybody could operate this machine. So, let's talk numbers. This roll of bags, 3,000 bubbles that are eight inches by four inches times 3,000 means that this roll is gonna get me 96 inches of packing void fill. This guy was 14,400 inches of packing void fill, and that is, oh, let's math, about 8,000 square inches more on this guy. However, this one is $30 and that one is $73. So I literally could buy two of these and still pay less than that big roll of paper. This is much easier to handle. It's much smaller. It takes up less space. It's portable as long as I have a plug. So you do have to have electrical, just showing all the pros and cons here. You do have to have a spot where this can sit and be plugged in and run your bubbles. But literally I could sit this and set it to run and then walk away, go have lunch, come back and I'd have a big pile of bubbles, right? So that is where we're at in the office here. Uh, I don't think I have too much else to say. I think you guys can see the pros and cons. Um, I think it's going to pay for itself within three to six months. Like I said, the $73 roll was lasting me about six weeks which breaks down to what, about $10 a week. And this one, I feel like, you know, it's gonna last, I don't know, we'll have to see. We'll have to see in my head. In my head, that roll of void fill is a little bit less, but it's half the price. So um, guesstimating that it's gonna pay for itself by Christmas, give or take a few weeks here or there. Kind of depends on how many boxes we pack out, etc. Now, the next thing I'm going to be investigating is will it do bubble wrap? Because I think there's an option to get something that's like bubble wrap to run through here. They have different types of bags that you can put in these machines, and I so want to investigate that. I just haven't gotten to it yet. Right now, the best deal on bubble wrap is at American Bubble Boy. You get 750 square feet for $40 delivered, delivered, and they are quick on the delivery. It's been really good bubble wrap. I have had no problems quality wise whatsoever. And uh, I think it worked out. I did it one day. It works out to a nickel, a nickel a sheet, a nickel a 12 by 12 square here. And that's not too bad. When I'm doing my cost of goods, and let's say it uses three sheets of bubble wrap, I know in my head that, okay, I need to add about 15 cents to my cost of goods so that I know that uh, that item is still profitable, etc. cetera. Um, with these guys, the other thing, if you have a sealer, a heat, a heat sealer, which I have one laying around somewhere here, you can make like bags out, you know, bubble bags for smaller items out of these guys. I just buy bubble bags because they're pretty inexpensive and I don't use a ton of them. So American Bubble Boy is where I get my bubble wrap. This guy, I bought it on Amazon. You'll see my link to my store down below if you want to get it, you certainly can. It was 175 plus the roll, so 205. This came with a roll. It's a small one, it's like, like a trial size roll. It's kind of like when you get your Dymo, they have, uh, you know, 12 labels they give you for free. Uh, so, 175 on Amazon, pretty much any of this void fill stuff, shop around. American Bubble Boy has been the best for bubble wrap, but craft paper, packing paper, you can go online and usually get it for free off Craigslist Facebook pages, or there's local dealers you can work with. There's also Uline, 
uh, Granger, U-Haul. There's lots of other places that you can get pa packing paper. The only other thing I'll say about paper <laughs> is tissue paper. I love tissue paper as well. I do a lot of packing with tissue paper, especially during Q4. You just need a little bit of extra in there for that toy. And I stock up at my end of the season Christmas, you know, when they're clearancing out tissue paper at the end of Christmas, typically Walgreens. Walgreens is where I prefer to go. And it goes 90% off and it's like 10 cents a pack. And I will get as much as I can there so I don't have to buy it at the end of the year. What you don't want to use for Amazon, do not use peanuts. <laughs> do not use printed newspaper. Those two will get you in trouble. And in a pinch, in a pinch, I have not had Amazon bug me about this one, but in a pinch, we have taken a bag full of bags and used that as void fill on the top of FBA boxes. I don't really want to, I don't, I don't know if that's totally against the rules, but I have done it and they have not complained about it. I don't make it a practice to do that though, but there was, there was a couple of times where it was like the end and we just had to get things out and I wasn't going to get void fill for a while. And we just took a bag full of bags because I have a bunch of those <laughs> laying around and use those in the top of an FBA shipment. There you go. Um, let's see here. So, talked about cost, talked about the physicality, the pros and cons. The only other pros cons that weigh into my decisions like this is the environment. I, I'm not a huge plastic lover because, you know, the ocean has got a lot of plastic in it, etc. I'm hoping that all these bubbles do get recycled. You have to understand though, that paper does have a cost to the environment as well. Uh, forestry and manufacturing of said paper does take up resources and is not friendly for the environment as well. The only thing at the end of the day is, you know, recycle as much as you can. We recycle all the bubbles that come in here. There's not a bubble that, that goes to waste at all. Same with paper. We recycle everything that we can to, you know, hopefully we can keep our planet around for a little bit longer. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this talk about void fill. Take care and have an amazing day.